Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. So for you guys who are getting chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You have children. Your love life is being affected by children. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. We have Love Call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you okay so i see a relationship where it started out as no good for you but then as time goes by you realize that there's something going on that is for you okay so there might be children involved or for babies um there's been triggers so turmoil you had difficult fights um shouting yelling at each other and i feel like there are moments where they're letting you know that they care that they love you okay so through calls or text messages okay however there are situation or part of the relationship fragments of the relationship could be their attitude that you are completely letting go up like you don't care anymore so um if there could be two situations it could be that you are done you've outgrown them you have left them your relationship is over there's also this um side where you have accepted that part of them and you have transformed yourself to be aware of how you react how those triggers are affecting you um what lessons you need to understand uh, with this kind of relationship within yourself, your shadow self, and how this person reacts into the whole situation of bickering and fighting. So that I see a transformation. I see growth. I see a spirituality. Um, I see that you are instead loving yourself more. So um, being aware of what those uh, situation is bringing to you. Okay, your emotions, your mental health, your spirituality, and, you know, being that bigger person instead. Okay, let me just shuffle the tarot deck. Okay, so the current energy is the Seven of Swords. And then we have Six of Wands at the very top. Underneath is the Queen of Wands. In the past is the Tower. I guess this is the Grim Reaper right here. And then we have Ace of Wands. Wonderful. Nice. Okay. Okay, so the Seven of Swords um, is with the Devil card. So you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn energy. And or a, a little bit of an air sign energy, okay? Okay, so for, um, for the... Wait. So for these two, uh, the Seven of Swords talks about someone sneaking out. Um, it could be a Capricorn energy that's sneaking out um, from something they should not. So it's like a fight or flight mode and they choose to fly away. Okay, So they choose to ignore the situation. They choose to walk away and uh, not say anything. Um, they feel like they're too clever, but then... I think that the other person could be you or your person knows what they're doing. Like, they're fully aware, okay? It's a question of maturity. It's a question of um, are you really, are you sure you're doing this? Like that, okay? So I feel like this person um, is kind of addicted to this type of behavior and they have been doing this also in the past where they just kind of sneak away or deceive someone so they can um, get out of the situation. So it's a behavior that they need to um, overcome or deal with. And it's not about you. It's just who they are. Okay. Then we have the Six of Wands at the very top with the King of Pentacles. So we're getting... Um, Earth sign, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And this is the Six of Wands talking about victory, triumph, 
uh, public recognition, winning the battle. Okay, so this Earth sign that we're talking earlier, Capricorn energy, feels very proud of themselves. Like um, they know what they're doing. They feel like they should not deal with some crap that is going on okay and they're like it's a very small thing that they have to deal with okay um and they don't care if you think or someone thinks that they are um sneaking out or running away or not dealing with the situation they're too proud of themselves so they can't seem to apologize at this point okay so let's see and I feel like this person is a role model, so they lead by example. And winning in a situation is their thing. Like if they're good with, they're very good with what they do. They're they figured things out uh, financially, emotionally, materialistically, or whatever. So they're they're good at what they do. Okay, and they feel proud of who they are. Um, and at the bottom here, we have the Queen of Wands with the King of Wands. So I see a soulmate energy or mirroring of energies here. Okay, so um, this is Eris and Sagittarius energy. And I feel like there's some kind of... Um, I, I, you complement each other. So, okay, so not only are they the king of pentacles or they're also the king of wands or they're very good with uh tricky words they are mysterious um they can do whatever they want and everything just blooms and they look amazing they're artistic they've got so many things going on and they're they're charismatic they're friendly Okay, so I feel like with you, feminine, masculine energy is kind of mirroring each other's qualities. So, um, and you both are flexible. You're very good with words. You can, you have the tendency though to, you have a temper somehow. So pro probably work on that. And then we have the tower. Okay, um, Scorpio energy. Um, the tower is with mars so sudden um changes to things the scorpio energy so i think there's some kind of a situation that has to end and this this somehow made someone sad and so other than that we see that there was an ending that kind of triggered some old wounds to resurface so know that this is this this old that you will be fine and that you may it may seem that you will no longer be happy again but um there's no need to be sad i mean you have to go through it you have to feel the pain but know that there's always a day after tomorrow there's always another day okay there you go so let's check the outcome we have the ace of wands and the empress wow look at that so someone may be really pregnant okay it could be you or your person or the people around you um i see like a beautiful lovely um like you're connected to nature and there's some project that you're going to start that will flourish and grow so if you're thinking of opening a new business, starting a project, a creative project, this is a very good time here. There's very nice energy going on here when it comes to creativity. Okay, so use this energy to nurture and keep nurturing water um, your creative project. Okay, so don't stop because you've got the energy, the inspiration to keep you going here and you have the support of the universe to keep on giving you that energy to do this. So there is a period of abundance. There is a great positivity I see along the way here or in the horizon and it could be dealing with Taurus, Libra or fire sign. So this is a very good energy when it comes to anything about life, love life, 
sexual relationship, money, growth, support. You have the support of the universe and the support of the people you love. Okay, so that's a very good energy right there. So let's get one card from the Oracle deck. All right, so to attract this super wonderful Empress card and the Ace of Wands, we have I can I can do less and attract more. I can do less and attract more. Okay, so I feel like it's because you have this burst, this energy, this power within you. Um, the support that's why you are just aligning to your purpose so to your soul purpose so it's like um, doing what you love okay instead of hustling bustling every day when you really don't know where you're going you don't you're like just um, you're just allowing the circumstances to direct your path and you're not really holding on to what you love your passion and not being aware of what's going on okay so that's what i have for you leo continue to be amazing you're wonderful you're great so i'll see you guys next time take care god bless you always bye bye